Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we have a review of the all new tier 7 British battleship Lion. That's right, I'm probably going to say Lyon at some point in this, in this because that's the tier 6 French battleship, but this right here is the Lion. Now, in order to get the Lion, you can acquire it currently for 25,000 winter coins. If you're wondering how to earn winter coins, we had a video yesterday, but the basic gist of it is this will cost you some money. It depends on how much arena and uh, how much of the campaign you buy out for exactly how much uh, real world monies it's going to cost you. But like I said, we have a video covering that from yesterday. Today, we have the review of the ship. So what is so special about the Lion? Well, it's a King George V upgraded with 16 inch guns. Also better armor, but that's kind of the gist of it. So with all that said, we're going to go ahead and dive on in to the commander, do the module selection, do all sorts of things like that, give the stats, and then go over a game in it. So with all that said, let's first go ahead and talk about the commander. I'm running Andrew Cunningham. I know usually with British battleships, I'd be running Azur Lane Nelson, but with those 16 inch guns, I didn't want to use the Super 7 trait that reduces penetration because if I have those 16 inch, inch guns, I am going to use them. Also, we kind of pick up a bonus, uh, a bonus inspiration by running Cunningham. Base trait, of course, is going to help with shell grouping. Then we're running Sharnhorst and Charles Madden. Madden's going to help with main battery traverse speed, which is definitely what this ship needs. And a little bit to help with the rate of fire. And this ship already has one of the best rates of fire for 16-inch guns at the tier. So we're kind of buffing the strengths and helping a little bit with the weakness. And then as far as the other skills that we're running, we're running Flamble Cannoneer, Gyrating Drill Bits, Marksmanship, Reaching Out XXL, and Will to Rebuild. Of course, uh, as far as the modules go, in mod slot run, we're running Aiming Systems Mod 1. In the second slot, we're running Steering Gears Mod 2. In the third slot, we only have the access to target acquisition systems, which is unfortunate because there are those other British battleships that have Concealment Mod, and I would have loved to be able to use that on this ship, but here we are. And then finally, we have Main Battery Reload Mod 3, once again, helping out with that reload. As far as consumables go, well, you have the damage control party. It's going to last 15 seconds and reload after 80 seconds. The repair party, which is a huge heal, uh, 1,996 health per tick or per second with a duration of 11.9 seconds. It's going to uh, reload in 100 seconds and you're going to have two charges with this build. And then you have a choice between enhanced secondary targeting and defensive AA. I may be switching it over to defensive AA just because the secondary range isn't anything too special. And uh, given the prevalence of carriers, I feel like in this update, uh, defensive AA may find itself useful. The one thing that's weird to note is if you look in the center of the ship, there is in fact a hangar and a launch platform for a plane, but uh, no plane option is included, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I would most of all uh, prefer a plane, but you know, here, here we are. Anyways, with all of that said, let's now go ahead and dive on in to those stats. So Lion is going to have 6,900 hit points with an armor thickness between 19 and 381 millimeters. We can go ahead and take a look at the ship's armor layout. And as you can see, it is coated in 32 inch or 32 millimeter armor all the way around, which is absolutely beautiful. And if we look on the side plating, the side plating is also pretty thick at 260 millimeters. So all around a pretty sturdy ship, but kind of what you would expect for a tier seven battleship. Definitely an upgrade to the base uh, King George V kind of armor. Uh, so it is very nice. Citadel sitting right at that waterline and goes the full width of the ship. Torpedo reduction on the ship is going to be 25%. Next, let's move on to those main batteries. Three three-barreled 406 millimeter guns, the kind of star of the show. Firing range, 18.9 kilometers with a reload time of 25.6 seconds. Like I said earlier, one of the fastest at the tier. You're going to end up doing 21 uh, shells per minute with a 180 time of 34.9 seconds. HE damage, one of the higher alpha strikes in the game, uh, 6,900 for HE, giving you a DPM of 144,900 and a 46% chance to set fire. Yes, you still have access 
to those fantastic HE shells that the British are known for. AP, 13,860, a super high AP damage as well. And they are the British short fuses, giving you a DPM of 291,060. I think that's around three or four, uh, three or four best for DPM for the battleships. Secondary armament, well, you have eight two-barreled 134 millimeter guns with a firing range of 5.2 kilometers and a reload of 6.7 seconds. They're gonna do 1,900 damage and a, have an 8% chance to set fire. Next up, we have the AA. AA range is gonna be four and a half kilometers with a minimum damage of 65 damage per second and a maximum when, it, when the sh uh, planes get close at 528 damage per second. Max speed of the vessel, 26.6 knots with a turning race of 830 meters and a rudder shift time of 13.5, something that could see a little bit of love. It is a little bit uh, on the slow side as far as getting the ship to turn. Finally, concealment detectability by sea, 14.6 kilometers, detectability by air, 12.2 kilometers, and detectability while firing in smoke is gonna be 14.7 kilometers. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at a game in the Lion. This one, uh, we're in a division with Warpig Actual and Dirty Mike D. Dirty Mike being another one of my fellow community contributors. And uh, we're just going to have some fun. It's going to be a quick game where we push through, but it does show off the strengths of the Lion. And the one thing I do have to say with the Lion, 16-inch guns on a British battleship are quite fun. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm, used, I'm, I'm so used to kind of relying on the HE, the... The having the AP and the AP being surprisingly viable is excellent. That's one of the highlights of the ship to me is just how well the AP can perform. Now, uh, is it the greatest thing ever against battleships? N no, I mean, it's still British short, short fuse AP. So it does uh, lack penetration sometimes, but it still can perform and still can get those hits. We have this beautiful broadside Grosser Kern first and uh, you know, a 10K opening salvo isn't too bad. British guns tend to not to be the most accurate at long ranges, which is why we've kind of built for more accuracy. But, uh, you know, getting six hits on the opening right there in 10K, not too bad of an opening salvo. And that's kind of what the line does is it just always has options for you. That is the one thing I've, I've kind of really grown to enjoy with the line there. We have another good 20K salvo from it um, is you you're not forced into one kind of play style the AG is absolutely fantastic so if you have broadside ships go ahead and shoot the ap but if you have someone who decides to nose in on you guess what you have a leg up on them you have the high fire chance the beautiful um ap or he of the british ships here we're flipping over to the he now because we have this shimikaze or shimikazer as uh as you may see, because it's one of the rental ships and he's full out charging. And well, we'll we're gonna go ahead and teach him a lesson with some beautiful 16 inch British HE. Almost loaded there. And bye bye Shimakazer. Okay, so he doesn't actually die, but we do get a good hit out of him. Um, and that's and that's kind of the strength of the lion, right? That that versatility, and it's something that I do really, really enjoy uh, with this ship. Armor wise, it can kind of feel squishy if you get, uh, especially now that we are getting into the world of a lot more uh, legendary ships out and about on the water because of this update. Uh, Lion does definitely take a hit from that, especially when it's exposed to things that are over the uh, over 16 inch guns because you know it can be penned quite easily, it can be overmatched by things like that. But if you stay angled, Lion surprisingly more durable than the King George the Fifth, the class that it's kind of kind of based off. Anyways, we've got a Bismarck here, beautiful wide uh, broadside and long ways away, which means his turtleback armor shouldn't do much to him here. Dispersion looks pretty. He disappears off the uh, off the map, and sadly we only get three hits, but <laughs> three hits worth sixteen thousand. And uh, one other thing that the British AP does very well is it does target cruisers incredibly, uh, incredibly well. We have this Baltimore right here, giving us a little bit too much angle, not really. I felt like he probably should have been protected from this, but we're gonna go ahead and take a huge chunk out of him, uh, even though he was 
pretty much properly angled for us. And that's like I said, that's the story of the line. You you do you do well in the ship. Personally, uh, will I be getting it this update? Probably not. Uh, I, I talked about that in the Winter Coins update uh, or up Winter Coins video yesterday. If I don't want to spend the money on on this one, it's a it's a great ship, and I look forward to it coming back for an alternate reason. Uh, hopefully it's like a GXP ship because I will happily pick it up when it comes to GXP. It is a great amount of fun to be able to use. It's just right now, I don't want to spend the money to to really pick it up, you know, but that's that's just me. It is work gaming. You can always uh, spend your money and get, if, get it if you really, really want it. Anyways, we're coming around the island out, Baltimore. Uh, fairly well angled. He's kind of having to split his angle between myself and Warpig. Warpig picking up most of the kills on this one. We're just kind of providing the support number, but we're doing a good chunk of damage. We're kind of seeing, trying to keep our eye on who we can actually attack. Key looks like he's not quite angled enough, so we're going to take the shot on him, uh, and he's going to return fire, and uh, sadly, it does look like he was properly angled enough. Gross current first out in the back. Uh, goes down. So now we just kind of have this Baltimore uh, also trying to angle against Warpig. Sadly, we're now kind of in a line between the key and the Baltimore, so they can both kind of effectively angle against us. But we saw we had success with the AP on that Baltimore earlier. So we're going to see if we can continue that success and uh, shots out. Let's see how they look. Another big juicy chunk taken out of Balti. He goes down. Key is the last. Is the last surface ship that we can see. We know there's an aircraft carrier that has been spotted before, but uh, we can now go ahead and concentrate our fire on key. Uh, going back to the line, as far as its weaknesses go, its turret traverse is what kind of really lets it down. Uh, it was, if you don't buff any turret traverse, it's a 45 second tur turret traverse, which is uh, a long time. It's That's a long time to be traversing that those turrets, especially when you consider how long a game is and 45 seconds is, you know, almost a was it? it's a 16th or a 17th of the match like it is it is a good chunk of time you definitely want to be able to uh to, to kind of buff that turret traverse and that was the reason i went with cunningham that and with at least dessert with nelson i like leaving nelson the way it is with super seven but super seven does decrease the pen of your shells and if we're using ap 16 inch or uh, yeah 16 inch ap I want to be able to get the full amount of penetration that I can out of them. So uh, Cunningham, I think, is the best way to go with Lion. Uh, it it performs quite well with that. Parsifal, last ship out. We have our AP loaded. He's not really going anywhere. Let's see how we do with this. Uh, was probably going to be our last salvo of the game because I'm sure our teammates will pick off the Parsifal by the time we get our next shells loaded. <laughs> there we go. Picking up the Confederate waiting on those last those last shells like i said we do have one of the quicker reloads for 16 inch shells at the tier but it's still a good chunk of time for us to have to wait we get one more salvo i think let's see shots out and still still not quite enough to damage them but we do get a pretty good hit and that's kind of the match for us so guys if you like the video go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i hope you have a great rest of your day see ya